Hi everyone, today we're having a really cool and interesting discussion, and I think you guys will understand why I'm talking about this. So, Spirit Halloween. Okay, where do I begin? So, guys, last year, um, Spirit Halloween's props were not the best quality, and I was really disappointed. And, um, I think you guys will understand where I'm coming from because Menacing Molly, Forest Demon, Cryo Chamber Corpse, um, that alien prop that rises up like he's laying down and he comes up, um, and, yeah, and Hanging Hell Find, um, Towering Clown and the Electric Corpse were like the only props that didn't break at last year for Spirit Halloween. Towering Clown did not break. Why? His movement, his movement is simple. Right? But if they do a pop-up prop like Cryo Chamber Corpse, it's going to break like Forest Demon. Now... Guys, I am getting Forest Demon hopefully this year, even though he's faulty. I will only use Forest Demon for the day of trick-or-treating. That's the only day he's going to be used. The day before trick-or-treating, he'll be tested out. And after that, he's going to be shut off, and tomorrow will be the big day. Um, now, guys, Spear Halloween really needs to upgrade their quality for this year because what's going to happen is in about a week and about two weeks or so the props are going to break and it's not because they're constantly getting used because Jemmy the Jemmy props that will happen when Jemmy had good my teeth have are sensitive so I have to stop talking for a minute um when Jemmy had good quality back in the day, people were constantly pressing on them and they haven't broke because they're good quality. They're not going to break so easy. It takes a lot to break an old school Jemmy prop. Um, but Spear Halloween last year, it took three weeks or so to break one. And it's because they're so low quality. The quality is not the greatest. And I understand Jemmy had to do that, had to do that, which I which I don't think they had to do that at all. Um, and trust me, Spear Halloween makes tons of money. So you think they would help Halloween companies out to put the quality up more, much more. Like, good enough? So it will not break in like, I don't know, a couple years, like, you know. But it's like now you, you use one. Like when I first get Forest Demon, I'm going to be trying him out upstairs. And I will be getting a step pad with him because I don't want to have him on sensor all the time. Um, obviously I would have to set it the step pad. Um, do I just hope that Spear Halloween should upgrade? I mean, do I think they should upgrade their quality and make it much, well, better than last year? Yes. Now, Menacing Molly is returning. I hope they bring her back with, with her with like a new design, like a new design for her, so she will not break. Like her head movement broke so easy, it's not even funny. There was only a couple in the world that had broken heads, like, 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 you know what I mean? Like, it, it's like, it doesn't take much to break a spear Halloween prop. It doesn't. Um, is it disappointing? 
very disappointing. Like, Towering Clown was, like, good. He didn't break easy because he would... He had a simple movement. But... The pop-up props, right? Something would break or snap, or the belt would just break or snap. Um... Should that be improved for this year? Absolutely. Jimmy is... I mean, Spear Halloween is almost done of their themes this year. So... They already said that. So... It makes me wonder, is Spear, does Spear Halloween just not care anymore? Do they just want to make money? I don't think it's their choice for the quality, but I think they should be supporting the companies. It's like these companies make so much money from these props, and they can't upgrade the quality. That makes no sense at all. I don't mean air compressors. I don't mean that, that good of quality, I mean just good enough so they'll last a few years, like, like Forest Demon, I, I know he's faulty, right, but the thing is he's such a good prop, like if he's going to return this year, they have to bring him back with a whole new pop, jump pop up design and prove to us that if Jemmy can't upgrade the quality, upgrade the quality on the motion. Upgrade the quality on the motion for it to actually not break so easy. Maybe then Spear Halloween would make even more money so they could upgrade everything on the quality on their props for quality. And I mean paint, latex, like clothing, like the build a prop like Forest Demon, it can be complicated. Especially if it's your first Spirit Halloween prop. Um, Forest Demon, the good thing about him, you can actually lower his poles so you don't have to take him apart. Um, and yes, it is not easy to do that. But, yes, Spirit Halloween this year, guys, should be upgrading their quality. Because if they don't, people are just going to get sick of them. Because they had so many props last year, guys, that they just broke like that. Why? And my sister's sneaking around the house for some reason. Because I can hear her downstairs sneaking around. Anyway, I don't know why she even sneaks downstairs. <laughs> um... Man. And, uh, guys, I will not be making live streams with this phone. Because I made a live stream, the gr a grave stream, a couple days ago. And I'm telling you right now, it was so, like, pixelated looking. I just had to end it and not upload the video, like, the live stream, the grave stream. Um. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of my opinion. Because, because literally Spirit Halloween has had uh, the, zo the zombie chain doors or whatever you call them. They were cool, but when I seen them in store, one of the hands would make the, the door motion get stuck, and it would force itself to go up and go back down. That's why I'm not getting that probably ever. Um, yeah. Hanging Hellfind, I don't think I'll ever get him. Because, like, he's kind of pointless. Like, I don't have anywheres to put him. If you don't have anywheres to put Hanging Hellfind, don't get him. Because you have to put his arms up or he's going to break. And trust me, most of the Hanging Hellfinds don't even go down all the way. Like, it's so, like, it's so dumb. Because, like, they don't even... Spirit Halloween, for some reason, doesn't have time to even, like, test the props out. But, at the same time, you would think they would, because after last year, like that, they were thinking of new themes, because they want to do it as quick as possible. We're not in a rush. Haunters are not in a rush. I'm not. What's the point of rushing? Like, yes, I'm really concerned what they're going to do this year, 
because, man, last year was a good year, but it was like 2016 was a, like, was probably more successful because of the props. They didn't break so easy like last year. Last year, like, almost all the props be besides Electric Fine Corpse and, and frickin' Tower and Creepy Clam did not break. I don't know why. It's because, probably because the motion. I don't know. But this year, guys, I really hope the quality went up. Because, man, like, come on, Spirit Halloween. You gotta do, you gotta upgrade your quality because your props are breaking so easy. Your props from last year, like, there were certain ones that didn't break. I already said that. Towering Creepy Clown was not one that did. He actually was one of them that did not break. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, I have to go now. I'll see you guys in another video.